Hey, what's going on guys? Motonacity here, and uh, today we're gonna be doing an oil change, the first oil change on my 2017 R6. Recommended first oil change on this R6 is 600 miles, but since I did more of a hard break in, we're gonna do it a little bit sooner. I think it's sitting at about just under 400 miles on this thing. Doing your own oil change on your bike is one of the easiest things that you can do. It's really not difficult at all. Save you some money, do it yourself, and uh, it helps you get to know your bike a little bit better. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do this. There's a great write up in your manual if you want to just read that but for people who like it more visually like myself hopefully this video helps you guys out so again this is for the 2017 and up r6 that's the current model and uh, here's what we're going to be needing i've got my 10w40 racing 14 mobile one oil that's what i use it calls for 2.75 quarts if you're doing it with an oil filter change which i'm going to be doing um, so i've got three quarts here and then we've got a knn oil filter this is kn204 for the part number everything will be linked down in the description all the parts you need the oil uh, the tools you need if you don't know if you have the right sizes for things all of that will be down below to make it easy for you guys. If you got any questions, you guys can leave those down below as well and we'll try to answer any of those uh, that I see come in. Before we get started though, one thing that's gonna make it a lot easier for you guys is if you have a some sort of stand for your bike. Um, I have this Pitbull stand that I use with my R1 as you can see here. I've got it up like this. And that just makes it so you can have your bike completely upright and have the rear wheel completely off the ground. Uh, makes it really easy for you know oil changes, cleaning the chain, things like that. Unfortunately, I can't use it with the R1 just yet because I don't have any uh, spools here on the rear to prop it up on. Not a deal breaker, we can still do the oil change just fine, but I just wanted to mention that because it really does make things a lot easier. First up though, for the R6, we're gonna have to remove the uh, left cowlings on the bike, so this whole section right here is gonna have to come off. So now that we have the uh, cowlings off and the different panels, um, by the way, this one, uh, if you're having trouble with this one, you gotta make sure that you're taking the actual cowling out of this black bracket right here and it's got slots here that it fits into. That might uh, seem a little difficult. If you can't figure out why it's not coming off, it's probably because it's still stuck in these slots right here. But once we got all of that out, uh, you now see that we have the, um, Drainage plug exposed right here, and if we're doing uh, an oil filter change as well, we can see that that's right here. We're still gonna have to take off this um, quick shifter right here, or not the quick shifter, but the uh, actual shift arm right here so that we can pull this out, but for the most part, everything is ready to go. First though, uh, now that we have everything off, we're gonna start the bike up, let it warm up a little bit, get that oil a little bit warmed up so it drains out easier, and then we can actually drain it out. Just a word of advice, if you're unable to prop up the rear wheel, you're gonna want a drainage pan that can slide under the exhaust. Having a rear stand, or being able to use a rear stand, makes things a lot easier.
So we've got the shift arm out from here and I just took it out of the uh, little small plastic bracket that we have here to hold all of these wires and tubes together. Um, you'll pull these out of the way and then you see the old filter is now exposed. Now what you can do is either get the proper uh, tool from Yamaha to put over this oil filter to unscrew it. Or you can do it the way that doesn't require a special tool um, because the oil filter that we're gonna be using never has to use the Yamaha tool again. So this is why I like the K&N oil filters. What they do is they put a standard wrench head right here on the oil filter so you don't need a special tool. You can just use your regular sockets in order to put that on and take it off. The sock one's not like that. You need a special tool that goes around the whole thing, turns it. What we can do is get a uh, screwdriver, and this sounds violent, but we're not gonna be using this anymore, and it goes in pretty easily. Trust me on this. You hammer it in, probably here. Hammer it in, and then you can just loosen it up that way and then take it off by hand. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, I've done it before, um, but if you don't, you can get the tool from Yamaha, I think, probably get it online too. This just makes it quick and easy and you don't have to worry about waiting to get a special tool when you get to this part and realize that you can't do it without it. All right, now we can take our new filter here, take off the plastic, and what we're gonna do is put a little bit of clean new oil around this gasket right here. And now that we got all the new oil in, we've got the uh, drain bolt torqued down, we've got the filler cap on, have the oil filter on, that's torqued down, and uh, we're good to go, except we wanna start the bike right now, get it turned on, make sure everything's running right, make sure that there's no leaks of any oil, and make sure that we have enough oil in there. So with this bike, it doesn't have a little oil level window or anything to check that way, um, but it actually has a light. So if the oil level is not high enough, it'll actually have a light come on and tell you. We got no light, so we should be good to go. I'm gonna turn it off, and we're gonna get all these uh, plastics put back on the bike. And there it is guys, the completed oil change and filter change on the 2017 and up R6. Uh, and hopefully that helps you guys out. If it did, make sure you guys hit that like button, really helps me out on the videos. Um, I make other just general vlogs and stuff in addition to tutorials and stuff like this. I've got a whole bunch of stuff that's gonna be going on with this R6. So I'll have an R6 playlist linked down in the description if you wanna see all the other stuff that I end up doing to this bike. If you have any questions, again, leave those down in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer those. And if you have anything, uh, any questions about tools, uh, that we use today, supplies, the oil, the filter, um, any of the sizes, all of that will be linked down in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it's a little bit different. I don't always do like dedicated tutorials for stuff, but hopefully this helped you guys out. Um, again, I'm Motonocity. Hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one.